welcome back to another video. This is the first official video of 2022 and I really really wanted to kind of start the year out right by kind of reflecting on 2021 and then also kind of setting myself some like goals and aspirations for 2022 and I really really like looking back at the end of the year to see what I've done. Saying that, I cannot find where I put my 2021 list because I definitely did one. But then there's part of me that thinks, was that 2020? Because when it turned 2021, we never actually did anything for New Year. We were meant to be going away for New Year. She just went to bed at about nine o'clock in the evening and woke back up in the morning and said, Happy New Year. So I don't know whether I would have made, I can't remember whether I did or not, basically. So obviously I start with a brief reflection and I might try and include some like little pictures so we can kind of look back and this is going to be very brief. I think I'm going to make like a little checklist on my phone, but then also I'm going to make a list in a notepad because there's nothing I love more than making a list, writing something down, pen to paper. It's just a wonderful thing. Um, I've also got myself a hot chocolate. The start of this year was we just kind of went into a fresh lockdown over Christmas. January, I started the job that I'm currently in, which I remember at the time, you know, was really exciting. And I'm still there now, and I probably will be for a little while longer. It was, 2021 is the year of the vaccines. So I had my two vaccines, um, and then after like the second vaccine and the restrictions kind of dropped, um, I went home again for the first time, which was lovely. And then the fun things started happening. So um, me and all the things that me and Callum kind of had booked that had been postponed for a couple years got to happen. So we went to Harry Potter Studios, we stayed in London and did the games day that Callum wanted for his birthday. We got to see Frozen the musical, which was sensational. We then stayed in London overnight and had our first ever overnight stay together in London. So yeah, I feel like we really had a good chunk and a good burst of doing things, even though the October, tr the London overstay was in October. Since the end of September, um, personal life kind of took a slow roll. Since the start of September, I'd been poorly anywhere. At the end of September, we unfortunately got some bad news about a member of my family. Um, and so October was like quite a difficult month. It was lucky that I had two weeks off um, in a half term to kind of go home and have the the time that I needed there. November, we went through the loss of a loved one. And then that brings us up to December, which has just been such a slow month. COVID talk is hitting again. Um, I'm really excited to go home next week for Christmas. Anyway, so I feel like all in all, like considering I've had quite a good year, I'm gonna write 20, 22 goals. Um, so my first goal, because it's definitely something that has been on my mind, um, my first priority is going to be my own health. I would really like for me and Callum to keep saving and really be on the road to having a place of our own. I'm gonna put saving for future with cow. I'm trying to think YouTube wise now. I'm almost at 500 subscribers now. So I think because again, I don't wanna to be too hard on myself because I haven't reached 500 yet. I would like to put on here one goal to be 500 subscribers. So to finish off, I have just added on there. Um, this one's probably the most unrealistic out of them all. Um, but I currently have like 2,100-ish Instagram followers, um, which I'm, uh, I think is just kind of like average. Um, so I've just put 2,500, which is, you know, if I were to put the effort in, potentially that might happen but like I say like YouTube is like my main thing it's the thing that I enjoy the most um so that's why I did them other ones as like realistic goals but yeah I am um, I just thought I'd add that on there as well uh, we have got a holiday booked so I would say like oh go tr like go to a, a new place or a new city but it's really hard to you know what, I might just add that on there. I did say to Callum that next year it would be really nice to visit a city that we haven't been to together yet, like Edinburgh or even somewhere abroad, like Prague, for like Christmas, something like that. Um, so I'll put on there 
visit Pretty you city to be fair i would really like to go to edinburgh at christmas next year i think that that would be really nice and very festive so i am going to wrap this video up here i hope that you enjoyed this it is just going to be a short one little introduction to 2022 what i'm looking forward to hopefully i'll have some exciting videos for you in the pipeline hope you all have a lovely start to 2022 see you in my next video bye